When you first start Adobe Premiere Pro, this is what you're going to see. This is the start screen. And there are a couple of options on here. The two that we're really interested in are the option to create a new project and the option to open an existing project. A Premiere Pro project file is a file like any other. All of your creative decisions are going to be stored in that file. We can open one of these up by double clicking on them, but I'm going to show you from inside the start screen first of all. I'm just going to click back into Premiere Pro and I'm going to click on Open Project. You should be familiar with this dialog. This is in Windows, of course. This is Windows Explorer. And if we were on Mac OS, this would be a Finder dialog. It's just going to allow us to open a file. So I'm going to select this 0101, uh, create a project, Premiere Pro project file, and I'm going to click Open. And here we are now in Premiere Pro looking at this project. There's not much going on right now. Over at the bottom right here, we've got the Timeline panel. I'm just going to click a little earlier in the sequence here where you can see we've got a number of clips all lined up ready to make a program and when I do that at the top right in this program monitor you can see this is the program monitor it's showing us our master sequence we get the visuals from that series of clips another important panel for you to be familiar with is this one down at the bottom left this is the project panel and you see every panel has its name at the top left hand corner this is the project panel and it's showing me the contents of the project i've just opened 0101 create a project inside of this panel i've got something that looks a bit like a folder it's a bin in premiere pro and in that bin i've got some clips if i double click to open one of these you can see it opens in this source monitor at the top left corner this is for previewing the videos that you've got in your project you can play them back and just have a look and see if you want to use them or not and over on the right here, the program monitor is for looking at the sequence that you're building. That's the film that you're making, if you like. Okay, so that's how to open a project. I'm just going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose close project. And Premiere Pro has invited me to save changes. There aren't any really. But you'll notice up at the top here next to the project name, and it's quite useful because we've got the location of the project as well. I'm on a Windows machine, so this is a C drive rather than a system drive or another kind of plugged in drive. And I've got this little asterisk next to the name that tells me that some kind of change has happened. That change might just be that I'm looking at a different part of the project, so I'm not too concerned, and I'm going to click No. Back on the Start screen, this time I'm going to click New Project. I'm going to call this First Project. And if I click Browse, we get a familiar Browse dialog where we can choose the location for the new project file. You can always move it later on, of course, but I'm happy with it being here in my media folder. So I'll choose Select Folder. I'm not worried about the rest of the options for now. I'm just going to click OK. And here we are in an empty Premiere Pro project. The first thing we're going to want to do is get some media in, get some video files into the project. So I'm going to go to the media browser. And the media browser is going to allow me to look through the contents of my storage to find the clips, the video files, the photos and graphics and so on that I want to use in my project. I'm going to browse into the media files folder and I'm not going to pay too much attention right now, but I'm going to select some of these clips. I'm just going to scroll down here and actually I think I'm pretty much happy to have all of this so I'm going to press in this case control A or that'd be command A on Mac OS to select everything here I could make individual selections if I like but I'm happy to have all of these and I'm going to right click on any of them and I'm going to choose import and there we are now inside our project panel we've got a list of clips these are pieces of video and if I double click on any of these they open up in the source monitor for me to take a look and decide if I want to use them so now we have a project file with some media imported and we're ready to get started reviewing our footage and editing clips together. For now though, I'm going to go to the file menu again and I'm going to choose close project. I will save the changes and we're back to the start screen. So that's opening an existing project, creating a new one and importing some media ready for you to start working in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's helpful to understand the key Adobe Premiere Pro interface design elements, as this will make it easier to explore the application and learn new features. Let's begin by opening an existing project. I'm going to double click here on this 0102 interface overview project file and double clicking it is going to open the project in Premiere Pro. 
The first thing I'm going to do here is make sure I'm in the editing workspace. Now, a workspace is really just a preset layout for the application. I'm going to move things around a little bit here. I've got a number of different panels that I can work with. I'm just going to shift these around in a really noticeable way so that it's easy for you to see the difference. And right at the top of the screen, I've got this word editing, which is the editing workspace. We've got a number of different workspaces for different purposes, color, work, uh, effects, audio, and so on. Now let's say I know that this workspace is wrong. I'm going to click on this menu right next to the word editing, and I'm going to choose reset to saved layout. And that's going to put things back the way they were. I recommend that you go through this process at the beginning of every workflow that you follow, every tutorial that you watch, every book that you read on how to use Premiere Pro, because you'll find that pretty much all of the lessons that you see will use the default layout so that people can follow along. Now on the subject of panels, I want to draw your attention to this blue highlight outline. Right now, the timeline panel is active. That's where you build sequences and make movies in Premiere Pro. Now, if I click the bottom left, the project panel is active. Depending on the active panel, you'll find that you get different menu options and things will work a little bit differently in Premiere Pro. So it's important to know which panel is active before you begin. Just keep an eye out for that blue outline. Each panel has a name at the top of it. Right now, I'm in the project panel. Next to the name, you'll find a panel menu, just like the one we used a moment ago to reset our workspace. This menu is called the panel menu, and it gives you options that relate specifically to that panel. It's important to be clear about which kind of menu you're looking in. Here, I'm looking in the panel menu, but you'll notice, for example, on the timeline, there's a wrench icon for what's called a settings menu. In both cases, you're going to see options that relate specifically to the panel you're clicking on. Where you see the name of a panel, in this case the project panel, it's referred to as a tab. So here we've got the tab for the project panel. Now I'm clicking on the tab for the media browser. Again, it's good to know the name of that because if you look up tutorials, you'll find that these different name headings are referred to as tabs. And now you'll know where you're looking. We also have a right click menu. If I right click on one of these items in the sequence over in the timeline panel, you can see I've got a number of options that relate specifically to that clip. And you might already be able to see that selection is extremely important in Premiere Pro. I'm getting options for that clip, not the one next to it. Every panel in Adobe Premiere Pro is listed in the window menu. So if you're ever hunting for a panel, don't worry about it. Just look for it on this menu and it'll come up when you select it. Here, for example, I'm choosing the media browser and now the media browser has come to the front. Even though it was kind of already displayed in the interface, it was hidden behind the project panel, which I'm gonna go back to right now. So now I'm gonna to go to the file menu. I'm gonna choose close project. And that's an overview of the key design elements in Adobe Premiere Pro. For this lesson, I'm working with Project 0103 Import Media. And you can find that project file with the media files associated with this lesson. You can just double click to open it up. Your projects might include video, music, voiceover, photos, graphics, and animation files. And let's import some video clips and learn about the way they're linked to your project file. I'm going into the Media Browser panel. And I'm just going to browse for our media and go into this media files folder. On the left, you've got all of the folders on your computer. On the right, you're seeing the contents of the folders you select. Right now, I'm here in the media files folder, the same one we looked at just now. If I double click on one of these, I'm gonna double click on this clip right here. It'll open in the source monitor. And once it's here, I can press play if I want. Or I can take this blue so-called playhead and drag to a different section of the video. Notice I don't have to click on the playhead to move it. I can just click where I want it to go. I'm gonna select a few of these clips. I'm just gonna click on the first one up here and scroll down a bit. And I'm gonna hold the shift key down to make a list selection and get six clips. I'm going to right click on any one of the selected clips and choose import and they'll appear in my project panel. Importing a clip creates what's called a master clip in Premiere Pro, which is really a shortcut to the media file. I'm just going to click on the background of the project panel to deselect these clips. And you can see that I'm in list view and I've got some information about them. I've got the frame rate and so on. That's the number of frames per second for these video clips. 
I can also switch to the icon view by clicking this button at the bottom left hand corner and this is perhaps a little bit more useful I've now got the visuals from the clips. Premiere Pro knows the location of the media files that clips link to and if the media moves you'll need to tell Premiere Pro where it is. Within the project file we can organize our clips using special folders called bins and this is a term used originally by film editors and it's stuck when editors switched to nonlinear editing. You can create a bin by clicking this button at the bottom right corner of the project panel. I'm going to call this Shots and clicking away to apply the name and if I double click it'll open in its own frame. You'll notice that the bin has exactly the same options that the project panel has. There's a shortcut to doing this as well. I'm going to select three of these clips and just clicking on the first one and I'm holding the shift key and clicking on the last and I'm going to drag these three clips onto that same new bin button. Those clips have now been put into the bin and I'll call this one Shots 2. You can see the name is already highlighted and if I double click you can see I've now got my bin called Shots 2 with those clips in it. I'll just drag this so you can see the Shots bin as well. You can even put bins in bins. So now I'm going to select both of these bins. I'm holding the shift key down again and I'm going to drag them both onto the new bin button and I'm going to call that new bin media. And now if I double click to open this up, you can see it's a bin with two bins in it. So it's a bit like folders in Windows or Mac OS. Speaking of folders, if I toggle back over to our media and I'm going to just browse up to the main media folder, I'm going to rename our media files folder something different. In fact, I'll just put the word different in here. That changes the location of the clips. Of course, I've renamed the folder containing them. So if I go back to Premiere Pro, right away, all of the clips get these question marks, they go offline, and you probably just saw there Premiere Pro found the media again and relinked to it. If I double click on one of these, up it comes. I'm just going to close some of these bins because they're getting in the way in my interface. And there it is. I'm just going to go back and I'll undo. I'm pressing Control Z here on Windows. That'll be Command Z on Mac OS. Go back into Premiere Pro and there. 